Hi guys, it's Nick Renoon and welcome back to my channel. So literally, I just woke up from a nap and we're getting ready for Valentine's Day dinner. I started out with my Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. I love this to wake me up. Of course, you know I gotta start out with my NC45 matte concealer and I'm using that as the base for my eyeshadow. Oops, gotta get this hair together. So as a transition color, I'm going to be going in with Pop the Cork from this Tarte palette that I got over the holidays. Now guys, I'm in love with this camel color. It's like the perfect transition color, I believe, when you want to go in with like a bronzy or gold eyeshadow look. So next, from the same Tarte palette, I'm going to be using Chocolate Fountain to define my crease. I'm just going to blend that out so there aren't any harsh lines. So I'm going to take the color Millionaire from ColourPop. Now this is probably my second favorite eyeshadow from ColourPop next to Telepathy. I love the hint of gold and shimmer that this eyeshadow gives and I believe it's perfect for you know a sexy date night, a dinner, or just going out with your boo. I'm going to go ahead and apply with my finger because I did notice that it picks up a lot more pigment when you use your finger and I absolutely love this method. So right now I'm just picking up more of Chocolate Fountain to redefine my crease because as you can see I lost some of it while applying Millionaire. And I'm just going to clean up the excess fallout. I did notice that Millionaire has a little more fallout compared to the other eyeshadows in the palette. And per usual I'm going in with Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the color Trooper. And next I'm going in with Ardell Wispies, of course. Okay, now that we've got the hard and most stressful part out of the way, you know I have to go in with my CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. Absolutely love this. The way it makes my makeup finish, I adore this. So today I'm actually going to be going in with my Dior Skin Star Foundation in the color 50. One of my favorite foundations. It has SPF 30 in it. It's super long wear. And I believe that it gives me a matte finish. I don't really produce too much oil when I use this foundation. So once I have that blended out, I'm going to be going with the Naked Skin Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. That was a lot. And this is in the color Deep. I believe this is the darkest shade concealer that they have. 
And I swear, like at first when I got this, I was like, you know what, this looks kind of light, but it's proven to be one of the most pigmented and full coverage concealers that I have. It blends out so nicely, it's super creamy. I just love the finish that it gives. And I'm just taking my beauty blender, or wait, I can't think of the name of it, but I'm gonna use that to blend out my concealer. So since my bags were the size of Texas after my nap, I'm going in with my Becca Ultimate Coverage Concealing Cream. I love this stuff. It gives me just the extra pizzazz of highlight. So once I got that blended out, I'm actually going in with my Ben Nye Banana Powder. And I'm just going to use this to set my under eye concealer and wherever else I place the concealer because as you know, I am an oil producing machine. So now we're just going to set it and forget it. I'm going to be, you know, brushing out my eyebrows to start and then I'm going in with the all-time favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And if you guys are interested in seeing like a full in-depth eyebrow tutorial, please let me know because I will be more than happy to do one for you guys. So once I get my eyebrows filled in to perfection, I'm going to go, be going in with the NYX Eyebrow Gel so we can make sure these eyebrows are extra fleeky. So I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Telescopic just to give my eyelashes some more volume. and removing the excess setting powder that I applied. <laughs> okay, clearly I'm still high off the K. Michelle concert from last night. Get it together. So I'm going to be using this chocolate brown color from my Makeup Forever palette. I honestly do not know the name of it, but like I've said plenty of times, it's the darkest color that they have. And once I figure it out, I promise I'll start including it in my tutorials. But I just want to contour my nose to give it a little more, you know, chiseled look and just slim it out a bit. <laughs> Today I decided to use my Bobbi Brown foundation stick, my favorite, all time favorite, like hands down number one contouring stick to use. And it's in the color Espresso, which is the darkest color they have. And I'm just going to blend that out accordingly to give a little definition to those cheekbones. So to set that um, contour, I'm going to be going in with the same chocolate brown that I used to contour my nose and just apply that everywhere I put that foundation stick. This combination is everything to me, you guys. So I'm just going to be cleaning that up a little bit. As you can see, I'm like running out of my banana powder. So 
So one of my favorite techniques to do for myself is to highlight my nose. I feel like I just love this step. I'm going to be going in with the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow. And I'm just going to put three little dots on my nose and then drag them together just to give me a little more highlighted look on the bridge of my nose. And also I'm going to be applying it to my Cupid's bow as well. And the high points of my cheeks. I'm applying it everywhere. <laughs> So for blush, I'm going to be actually using Petal Power, which is a mineralized blush, a mineralized blush from MAC. This blush is like one of the best blushes to use in the summer. I feel like when you go outside, you just have like a glow that comes within and you don't even need to highlight. On my inner corner of my eye, I'm using a rose champagne color from the Carly Bible palette. I'm just removing the excess setting powder with the brush from Urban Decay. It's just a finishing brush that I picked up and it's actually pretty nice. I love this to remove like any of my setting powder. And I'm just bringing the bronzer down to my neckline to make everything a little more defined. So today I'm actually going in with one of my Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses. I hope you guys checked out that tutorial. I'll definitely leave a link above. In Weekend Barbie, this color is amazing and I just felt like it brought this look together with the bronze gold eye and the pink lip was just everything to me. Okay guys, so this pretty much completes my look. I'm going to go finish my hair, put on my outfit, and then I'll be right back.